Greetings math friends. We are going to look at this indefinite integral and I'm already going to tell you ahead of time that we are going to need this theorem that when we have a constant squared plus the term of integration uh, all in the denominator of a fraction here so uh, this uh, differential term has just been multiplied by the one there this is going to be equal to 1 divided by the constant times arctan of the term of integration divided by the constant plus some other constant to give our family of um, antiderivatives. So we're going to show how we get from here to using this theorem and then also what the result of this is finding some family of antiderivatives for this integral. We're going to split this fraction into two separate fractions using fraction properties to begin with here. You can split a numerator at the plus or minus, but you can't split a denominator because you have to have common denominators when you do addition and subtraction of fractions. So this is just fraction properties. So we're going to have one over 1 plus x squared dx minus, and then this here, x over 1 plus x squared dx. Right. So this very first integral here, this is where we're going to use the theorem that we've stated over here. If If you move this dx to multiply it by the 1, you have this constant squared plus x squared. Now, some of you may say, well, the, the one's not squared, so how do we know that, that we're supposed to use that? Well, you can rewrite that as one squared. One squared is just one, so it fits the, the form of the theorem. So very quickly, we can build the antiderivative for this based on the theorem. So we're gonna have one over one arctan and then the term of integration, which in this case is x, divided by 1 plus some constant. Right? And then there's simplification that we can do to that because this is just going to be 1. 1 times arctan is just going to be the arctan. And then x divided by 1 is just x. So this is a very nice thing here. Then we have to look at what can we do with this integral here? Well, we could do a u substitution here. Uh, perhaps we let u equal 1 plus x squared. If we take the derivative of that, we are going to end up with 2x dx. And we would need to have a 2 with this x so that we can pull this piece out. And we can do that with a term of integration. We're going to put a 2 in here and then a half out here, two times a half is one, so we haven't changed the magnitude of this. So now we have this right here, and then we have this here. So we can replace that as one half, and then we have du over u. Right, so this is the numerator and our differential, and then this was the denominator. So we have this. So this is the form that we would have for a logarithm. All right, so now we have that antiderivative, but this is in terms of u, uh, this is in terms of k or uh, x. We need another constant over here, let's say uh, k sub 1, different from the original k there. We're just going to substitute this u back into here, and then we can combine these two constants. Uh, 
And then this is going to be our uh, final antiderivative here. So looking at this and indefinite integral here, we have this as our antiderivative. So arctan of x minus one half log of one plus x squared plus some constant. Hopefully this has been an interesting integral for you to look at today. Hopefully you can find some other integrals to share with others in your area of the world. Cheerful calculations.